what did you think of the show? It was fun. Okay. Did you have a favorite part of the show? Uh, right, driving the cars. Okay. Anything else? Uh, no. Okay. Thank you. Yep. What did you think of the show? Um, I thought it was really cool and relaxing. Okay. Uh, did you have a favorite part of the show? Um, probably the cars and stuff. Okay. Thank you. Then all of a sudden, there is a pesky woodpecker flying around your head, trying to land on your head. Your head looks like mahogany to this bird. Go ahead and brush that bird away. Brush that bird away. Brush, you can move. Brush that bird away. And it goes, it goes, it goes, it comes back. It comes back. Brush that bird away. Brush that bird away. There you go, there you go. Oh, it goes away, it goes away. You know, it comes back. Brush that bird away. And there's flies too. Brush those flies away. Maybe it's the person sitting next to you that attracted them. I don't know. But there's flies. Go ahead and brush them away. Okay, they go away. They go away. Very good. You're starting to be very good at creating things. What I want you to, to imagine or create next is this. Your feet. It's as if your feet Go ahead and thanks thanks for giving it a try. I appreciate it. Go ahead and go back into the audience. Give them a round of applause for giving it a try. First I'm touching on the hand, just move over one chair. And everybody, one, two, three, and sleep. Twice as creative. Go ahead, close your eyes. Twice as creative. Deeper, more focused, relaxed. What I would like you to create or allow to happen is have it be as if your feet are getting very, very hot. Your feet are getting warmer and warmer and warmer and you need to get those sandals off. Get those sandals off. Don't kick them far away. Just get, and then wiggle those little piggies. Wiggle those little piggies. Wiggle those little piggies. Go ahead and get comfortable. They get more and more cool, more and more comfortable. Wiggle those little piggies, that's right. And then the most amazing thing happens. I want you to go ahead, open your eyes briefly, go ahead and get, get those sandals off. Get them off, get them off, there you go. Go ahead and get your sandals off. Close your eyes, get your sandals off. There you go, excellent. Then wiggle those little piggies. Go ahead and close your eyes, one, two, three, and sleep. But reach down in front of you with your eyes closed and go ahead and pick up one of those sandals. Go ahead and pick up one of those sandals. Very good, right here, right here, there you go. Bring it up to your ear, and it's as if you are hearing your favorite music. It could be country, it could be rock, it could be techno, it could be anything you want it to be, gospel. I don't care, but you're listening to this music and start to rock out to your music. Start to rock out to your music. Move your head. This is, this is theater of the mind and body. But as if you're listening to your favorite music, just move your head, move your body, and enjoy that music. And while I'm talking specifically to you, I'm going to go ahead and touch you on your shoulder. That means I'm talking to you. Think about that music, hear that music, enjoy that music. And what are you listening to today? Country. Country, great. Any particular artist right now? That's fine, country. What are you listening to? Listening to a song called Believer. Believer, excellent song. What are you listening to today? Vampire. Vampire, <laughs> wonderful. What are you listening here to today? Uh, I'm listening to Bones. To what? Bones. Oh, very good. What are you listening to today? Uh, country music. Country music is great. What are you listening to today? Oh, uh, last Friday night. Last Friday night, all right. What are you listening to today? Um, Luke Combs. Luke Combs, excellent. And what are you listening to today? Country. Country. Rock out even more, rock out even more. But all of a sudden your phone starts to ring. Go ahead and answer the phone, answer the phone, it rings. Go ahead and, yeah, that's right. It's your mother. It's your mother and she starts talking to you. And no respect to mothers everywhere, but she just won't shut up. She just talking. Try to get a word in edgewise. Try to get in the word edgewise. And she just won't. In fact, she's angry with you. There's something. We're not going to ask you what it is. Try to explain. Try to get mom's attention. 
talk out loud, but try to get mom's attention. What are you going to say to mom? Go away. Go away. <laughs> what are you going to say to mom? I just mom, mom, calm down. There, calm down. Very good. That always works. What are you trying to say? Can you respectfully stop talking to me? There you go. Respectfully start talking to me. What are you going to say? Just wait. I'll do it in a little bit. There you go. In a little bit. What are you going to say to your mother? She just won't stop talking. Shut up. Oh, shut up. The direct approach. What are you going to say? Hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. There you go. What are you going to say? Mom. Try it again. Mom. Try it again. Mom. It just doesn't make any difference. What are you going to say? Stop. Stop. Tell her again. Stop. Uh, it's not working. Stop! I don't know. Give them a big round of applause, everybody. And just, I mean, with all respect, but just hang up the phone. Hang up the phone. That's right. Go ahead and let it go. Give them a big round of applause, everybody. All right. One, two, three, and sleep. Deeper, more focused, relaxed. The gentleman that I'm touching on the shoulder right now. I'm going to guess you don't have any tattoos yet and this is not going to cause you to want any tattoos, but for the purpose of this skit, we're going to pretend that you have tattoos. If that's okay with you, nod your head. Very cool. Go ahead. Anytime I ask you to stand up, I'm going to ask you to open your eyes first. Just the gentleman that I was talking to, go ahead and open your eyes, open your eyes, go ahead and stand up. Come into the center of the stage here. Terrific. You can be in hypnosis standing up with your eyes closed, twice as deep as before. One, two, three, and sleep deeper, more focused, relaxed. You now, through the magic of hypnosis, have a tattoo you are proud of. It's not in any embarrassing place, it's some place you can show us, but it is colorful. It is intricate. You are proud of this thing. And one, two, three, where is your tattoo? On my back. On your back. And can you show us your back? Is that fine with you? Okay, turn around, turn around. Go ahead and lift your shirt on your back. Very good, I'll help a little bit. And describe this tattoo to us. Um, a person riding a bull. Well, a, a, a bull rider, right? Yeah. Yeah, a rodeo bull rider. Uh, do you know who it is or just a generic guy? Um, Lane Frost. Yes! Absolutely. One of the premier bull riders in the nation, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah. How's he doing in points right now? Um, I can't tell you he is. He passed away. He passed away. I'm sorry. I must have been thinking about somebody else, but I love bull riding. I really do. He won championships, I bet. Yeah. How many? Um, like, like 10 or 25. 10 or 25, somewhere in there. Excellent. Okay, go ahead and flex a little bit. Make that bull bronc. Make that bull move. Go ahead and flex some more. There you go. There you go. So, what are you most proud of in this tattoo? Um, probably the bull rider in Frost. The bull rider himself. Very good. Give him a round of applause. Go ahead, turn back around, pull down your shirt, take a bow, sir. That is a beautiful tattoo. Go ahead and have a seat. Go ahead and have a seat. One, two, three, and sleep. Give him a big round of applause, everybody. We're out in the country. You need to make noise. Very good. Whenever I do hypnosis from now on, when I do that one, two, three, sleep, you're also going to go deep into hypnosis. But the person I'm touching on the shoulder right now, when I try to start the next skit, you're going to stand up and say, hypnosis is fake. It's not real. If that's acceptable to you, nod your head. Hypnosis is fake. It's not real. Anytime I try to start the next skit, or each skit, you're going to stand up and say, hypnosis is fake. It's not real. So we're going to go ahead and start the next skit. It is called, it is called, I'm sorry, I should deepen you first. One, two, three, and sleep. Very good. Then, what, 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 what? 
Hypnosis is not real. It's not real. It's a hypnosis show. Well, it's not real. But it's not real. Yeah. You're not hypnotized? No. Oh, would you mind sitting back down, though? Would that be okay? Okay. Terrific, terrific. And what's your name? Lila. Lila, thank you for your honesty. I appreciate it. One, two, three, and sleep. Deeper, more focused, relax. Give Lila a round of applause. All right, for everybody up on stage, I want you to think about your favorite animal. It doesn't even have to be a real animal. It could be an animal in the ocean for all I care. But I want you to think of your favorite animal when you have that nod your head and smile. Nod your head and smile, your favorite animal. And I want you to imagine that this animal has an accent. This animal has an accent. It could be a national accent. It could be that you talk in gibberish because that's what the animal would talk in. It could be an, uh, 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 an accent based on the noises the animal makes, but it is an accent. And finally, one, two, three, you become that animal. You embody that animal. You are that animal. And you are going to talk with us right now. Person I'm touching on the shoulder right now, what animal are you? A dog. A dog. And what do dogs sound like when they talk? What? Ruff. Ruff. Very good. That's how dogs sound? Yeah. Say it again. Ruff. There you go. Very good. And how old are you, doggy? Two. <laughs> there you go. Two. And are, are, do you live on your own or do you have an owner? Um. An owner? No. no. You live on your own? How, what is it like to live on your own? <laughs> Rough. That's right. Give a round of applause, everybody. What animal are you? A bull. A bull. What do bulls sound like? There you go. There you go. Are you a rodeo bull or a, 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 a grassland bull? A rodeo bull. Rodeo bull. What do you like to do to those riders? I like to stab them. Stab them. That's right. What kind of animal are you? A puffer fish. A puffer fish. Show us a puffer fish face. There you go. Very good. What animal are you? A wolf. A wolf. I love wolves. What do wolves sound like? Aru. Say hello. Aru. Aru. Very good. What animal are you? Tiger. Tiger. What do tigers sound like? <laughs> That's right. What, what kind of animal are you? I'm a poodle. A poodle. <laughs> Now, uh, a full-size poodle or a smaller poodle? Big one. A big one. And what do big poodles sound like? Ruff, ruff. Ruff, ruff. Okay, very good. Lila, what kind of animal are you? A cat. A cat. And do you have an owner or do you live on your own? I live on my own. On your own. And what do feral cats sound like? That's right, that's good. Give Lila a round of applause. And what is, what our kind of animal are you? Sheep. A sheep. And what do sheep sound like? <laughs> that's right, that's right. Lila, let me ask you a quick question. What do you think about hypnotism? It's not real. It's not real. All right, she's still not convinced. One, two, three, and sleep. Give them a big round of applause, everybody. All right, the person that I'm touching on the hand right now, go ahead, open your eyes, open your eyes and stand up. Just wait for me to bring a couple of other people with me. Uh, one, two, three, and stand up. Very good, come on over here. And one, two, three, go ahead, open your eyes and stand up.
Do you guys know what improvisational acting is? Have you ever watched Whose Line Is It Anyway? You know what improv is? And that's fine. I'm going to teach you improv. Now, here's the other thing. Have you ever heard of a show called Dirty Jobs by Mike Rowe? Okay, I'm going to have to teach you everything here. Go ahead and stand in a straight line. My homage to Mike Rowe and Dirty Jobs. In the audience, who knows Mike Rowe and Dirty Jobs? Go ahead and give us some applause and love for Mike Rowe. Wonderful man, and he's doing great things for people that want to get education. All right, so here's the deal. Mike Rowe travels the nation looking for the average working jobs that are out there. And his first show is called Dirty Jobs because these are the jobs where people just get filthy. And so you're going to imagine and create the next thing that I tell you. Stay standing up, one, two, three, and sleep. Deeper, more focused, relaxed. Okay, here's what I want you to do. You are a farmer. You can imagine that, can't you? Yes. And you are out in the field and you have got I don't know why, except that it makes for good theater. You spread manure with a hose. Manure from the cow pit, manure from, from the hog pit, whatever it is. But you know what I'm talking about, right? Yes. And you spread that on the field with a hose. That's your job. Your job over here is to provide narration to talk about all the hard work a farmer goes through. And you know about the kind of farmers go through, right? Especially hog farmers. You know about that, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. So you're going to provide that kind of narration. And over here, you are going to provide the sound effects of what his spraying the field and whatever else I describe is going to go on, all right? So, you're going to provide the sounds, you're going to do the work, you're going to provide the narration. So I'm going to have you follow me right over here just so I have easier mic work. There we go. One, two, three, open your eyes, open your eyes, go ahead and start. Your field is out there, start spraying your field, you make the noises. Okay, he's not doing it yet. Go ahead and grab the hose. Go ahead and grab the hose. Grab the hose, there you go, and go ahead and start spraying your field, there you go, he's way back there people, go ahead, and, and go ahead and give some narration. <laughs> spraying manure so his crops grow, that's right, and all of a sudden your hose starts to clog. Your, your manure isn't coming out. What does it sound like when the hose starts to get clogged? It is getting clogged, and all of a sudden it is stuck. It is not going out. Go ahead and provide us some narration. Poor farmer doesn't get, it, get his crops to grow. Poor farmer doesn't get his crops to grow and he's just shaking that thing. Look in it, look in it, look in it. Put your finger in it when you're not looking at it, but try to get it unclogged. Nothing seems to work. Shake that big hose as hard as you can. Make the noises. And all of a sudden you feel it start to move far back in the hose. Make some big moving sound. have to say for narration? The hose is going to explode, but it doesn't. All of a sudden it starts to goosh out. <laughs> and what do you have to say for narration now? Now the crops will grow. Now the crops will grow. Give our farmer a big round of applause. Come back up onto the stage. Give our narrator a big round of applause and our sound maker. That is excellent. Go ahead and have a seat. Go ahead and have a seat. 
One, two, three, and sleep. Deeper, more focused, relaxed. Our next skit. Oh, let's see. Who are we going to pick here? Okay, right here. First I'm talking to right now, go ahead and stand up. Go ahead and stand up, open your eyes. Go ahead and come out here. One, two, three, and sleep. Deeper, more focused, relaxed, all the way down. Let yourself relax and listen to my suggestion. What I want you to do is this. I want you to imagine, pretend if that works better for you, that you are 25 years old. You are a tough Marine Sergeant. You are a drill instructor. You've seen it all. You need to whip these people into shape. They are out of shape, they are undisciplined. You need to get them into shape. Does that make sense? Very good. Now you can't use foul language as if you even knew any, I'm sure. But you have to motivate these people, male and female both, and get them motivated to be Marines and to exercise. So go ahead, turn around, turn around, turn around. Here are your recruits. Recruits, one, two, three, open your eyes, open your eyes, open your eyes. Your drill instructor is right here. Open your eyes, open your eyes. Open your eyes and look up. Open your eyes and look up, there you go. Your drill instructor is right there. Open your eyes, open your eyes. Your drill instructor is right here. You listen to her, one, two, three. Be the Marine drill instructor. <laughs> go in the gym right now. Stand up, everybody. Run into the gym. <laughs> you, you better lift. 5,000 pounds every day for the rest of the week. How many reps is 5,000 pounds, Sergeant? 200. 200 reps. <laughs> Recruits, 200 into 5,000. How much weight are you going to lift per, per rep? 500. 500, that is right. Do your math. Recruit Sergeant, begin calisthenics. <laughs> Get them jumping jacks. Have them do jumping jacks. Do ten jumping jacks. One, two, three, four, five, six. They are not in synchronization, Sergeant. Get them synchronized. Start right now. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ken, Sergeant, are you satisfied with what you just saw? No. Open your eyes. Are you satisfied with what you just saw? Yeah. You are? Yeah. All right. Motivate these troops, Sergeant. Tell them what it means to be a Marine. Hard work. What else? Dedication. What else? One more. Happiness. Hard work, dedication, and you will be a happy Marine. <laughs> Listen to your sergeant. Say, yes, sergeant. Yes, sergeant. Four jumping jacks on your towel. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Sergeant, are you satisfied with that? No. No. Tell them what they need to do, Sergeant. Fifteen jumping jacks. <laughs> Sergeant, you call it out. Fifteen. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Very good, Sergeant. All right. One, two, three, and sleep. Deeper, more focused, relaxed. Well, I meant her, but that's okay. You are now an Oriental Kung Fu master. And these people are going to laugh at you. 
they are going to laugh at you and the more you laugh they laugh the angrier you're going to get you can't use foul language but you're going to get more and more angry the more you all laugh one two three kung fu master teach them the secrets of kung fu open your eyes open your eyes open your eyes seat give them a big round of applause a big round of applause one two three and sleep deeper more focused relaxed when I get to the count of three this time it is going to be as if you are in your favorite performance vehicle it could be a big monster truck it could be a sports car, it could be a race car, it could be a motorcycle. I've had people have performance combines before, it doesn't matter. But you are going to be the proud owner and driver, even if you're underage. It's as if you're 21 or older, but you have a wonderful performance vehicle and you are proud of it. One, two, three, get that in your head, get that in your head, very good. And tell me what your vehicle is. A Jeep. A Jeep. Very good. Those are wonderful. Tell us what your vehicle is. A racing bus. A racing bus. Excellent. What is your performance vehicle? A pink Mustang. A pink Mustang. Excellent. What is your performance vehicle? A motorcycle. Motorcycle. What brand? I have no idea. Harley Davidson? Sure. Okay, a Harley Davidson. Sure thing. What is your performance vehicle? An orange McLaren. An orange McLaren. A man who knows his vehicles. What's your vehicle? A pink Barbie bike. A pink Barbie bike. Excellent. What's your vehicle? A B-Mod racing car. A B-Mod racing car. Excellent. Throw up some dirt. And what is your favorite vehicle? A blue Jeep. A blue Jeep. Excellent. What I want you to do is, it's as if you are in your vehicle, and go ahead and get yourself buckled in, get yourself buckled in. You can move while you're in hypnosis, get yourself buckled in. Go ahead, turn on that vehicle, go ahead, turn it on, turn it on, that's right. And check your mirrors, get your mirrors straight, the one, the rear view mirror first. Then your side mirrors, get them straight, get them so you can see in back of you. That's wonderful. <laughs> Very good. Excellent. Oh, you need tunes. Get tunes going. Get tunes going. It could be your own mix. It could be off the radio. Doesn't matter. That's right. Just start rocking out to your tunes. Put it in reverse. Look behind you. Make sure everything's good. Get your hands on the steering wheel. Get your hands on the steering wheel, looking back, looking back. There you go. Go ahead and back it up. Go ahead and back it up. There. Well, that's interesting. All right. And then go ahead, put it in drive or first, whichever way you're doing it, and go ahead and go out. Go ahead and go out. That's right. She's pedaling as fast as she can. Wait till she learns how fast she can go. That's right. And you're driving down the street here. You're in West Union. There's your principal. There's your principal from seven years ago. Go ahead and wave to your principal. Wave to your principal. Point to the car. Point to the car. Point to you. That's right. That's your car. Oh, baby. And your principal looks jealous. How does that make you feel? How does that make That's right. That's right. Wave bye-bye to your principal. Wave bye-bye and just drive a little bit faster off the stoplight than you really need to do. That's right. Excellent. All right, we're going down. We're getting on, on the, the highway here. We're getting on the highway. 
you're doing 55 just like you should, just like you should, 55. And we're going to just, through the magic of hypnosis, get you out to the interstate, take it up to 75, take it up to 80, take it up to 80. You are cruising, you are listening to your tunes, you're doing great, but you know, this is a great performance vehicle. Go ahead, take it to 90, take it to 90, take it to 95, yeah, 98. 99, you're just about to break 100, and you see the lights in your rear view mirror. You see, it's the sheriff. It's the sheriff. Pull over, pull over, slow down and pull over. Oh, baby. Now, I know this sheriff. The sheriff of Fayette County. If you amuse him, you might get out of the ticket. So go ahead and come up with a fantastic reason, an extraordinary reason why you were speeding out here on the interstate. And as I talk to you, it'll be when I touch you on the shoulder. Young lady, you were going 99 and a 75. Why were you driving so fast? Because a cop said I could speed. Because another cop said you could speed? Yeah. Who told you that? What's that cop's name? Uh, <laughs> Smith. Cop Smith? <laughs> yeah. What does Cop Smith look like? Red hair. Red hair? A beard. A beard? And he smokes cigars. And he smokes cigars. And he smokes cigars? There's no cop that would have a beard and smoke cigars. You're pulling my leg, aren't you? No. Well, let me think about it. He goes back to his car and runs your plates. Young man, why were you speeding in my county? I had to go to a race. You had to go to a race? Well, you are in a B-Mod. Okay. Where are you racing this weekend? In Fayette County. Well, you're in the right county. All right, let me check it out. Why were you bicycling so fast in my county? I had to go get food for my pet fish. For your pet fish? What kind of pet fish do you have? Puffer fish. Puffer fish. <laughs> You and I are going to talk. I think I, I can learn some things from you. Okay, let me go check your plates. Why were you speeding in my county? Because I forgot my kids at home and I need to get to a car show in 10 minutes. You forgot your kids and you need to get to a car show. Yeah. Okay, I'll let you go. All right. Why were you speeding in my county? Uh, my cat away and, and he went to Fayette so I had to get a Fayette and also because I wanted to so whatever. <laughs> well I like cats. We'll go ahead and let it go. Why were you speeding in my county young lady? My grandma fell over. Your what fell over? My grandma. Your grandma. Okay we'll get you back to your grandma. You go ahead but drive the speed limit all right? All right. I recognize you. Your name's Lily. Isn't that true? Lila. Lila. I apologize. Lila, why were you speeding in my county? My sister is having a baby. Well, congratulations. That means you're going to be an aunt. Isn't that right? Mm-hmm. Very good. Lila, I've heard rumors about you. Do you think hypnosis is real? No. Okay. Go ahead and get to your sister. Enjoy being an aunt. What do you think about hypnosis? I'm sorry, why were you driving so fast in my county? I'm having a baby. You're having a baby. Are you Lila's sister? No. No, okay. Well, let's go ahead and get you to the hospital. Ladies and gentlemen, give a big round of applause. Puffer fish, babies, who knew what all was going to happen? One, two, three, and sleep. Deeper, more focused, relaxed. We're about ready to finish the show. I want you to let 
all of the now nah, let's now nah, let all the the suggestions go Lila you now believe in hypnosis is that okay with you all right very good everybody's got their names back nobody can take you into hypnosis without you wanting to hearing one two three sleep from anybody else outside of this show you do not have to go into hypnosis for them you will stay safe at all times but here's what I want you to do this is not entertainment this is my gift to you for coming up on stage I want you to think about or imagine create of all the little things you could do feel or believe to improve your life I want you to pick one of those little things not I want to be a better person that's way too big but of all the little things that would make you a better person if you started to do it feel it or believe it your life would improve I'm not going to ask you what that one little thing is but when you have it raise your head nod and smile one little thing that if you did it felt it or believe it your life would improve very good very good very good nod your head and smile when you've got it terrific as I count from one to five you're going to fully emerge by the count of five if not before and as you come out of hypnosis this one little thing is going to go deeper and deeper into your subconscious mind it will not become a compulsion it will not get in the way of other things but I want you to put that one little thing gently in its place to remind you to do feel or believe this one little thing now here's the really cool thing once you have this one little thing in place you now have the skill to put another little thing in place for the rest of your life it can be sequential it builds off of what you already created or it could be something totally different but you can now use this skill for the rest of your life and I wish when I was your age I would have had this skill so go ahead put your shoes on open your eyes and put your shoes on your sandals on there you go there you go where did your other one go there we go go ahead and stand up once you got your shoes on if you're not standing up already spread out on the stage give yourself some room some of you can come forward that's right and I want you to plant your left foot on the ground have it be as if it is stuck like glue. Your left foot is now stuck like glue. You can't move it. Go ahead. But when you emerge from hypnosis at the count of five, if not before, you'll be able to move your foot, and that way I'll know you have fully emerged from hypnosis. If at the count of five you still can't move it, not a big deal, I will help you emerge even more. But this is one of the things that I do to make sure you fully emerge from hypnosis. Go ahead, look at me, look at me, look at me, look at me. On the count of five, emerging if not before, and one, let that energy come up your body. Feel it come up your legs, feel it come up into your hips, your torso, all the way up into your shoulders, down your arms, to your hands, thumbs, fingers, tips, and up into your head, feeling your head clear, that logical, conscious, waking state coming and taking a look at what you've created in your subconscious mind and created fun for yourself and the people in the audience. Two, for the next couple of three days, even longer if you like, the color red can be a gentle yet persistent reminder of your ability to stop and put that one little thing in place. Red, 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 it could be the color of a taillight stoplight or red of a neon sign. But whenever you see the color red, it reminds you gently to put this one little thing in place. Three, even though we had just a few brief minutes doing hypnosis today, you find you feel wonderful remembering the show at least as well as all the other experiences that you've had. Four, preparing to be fully immersed from hypnosis, checking your foot to see if it moves or not. If it doesn't, it will in a moment. And five, fully immersed from hypnosis, feeling good feeling great and I'm gonna have you go ahead and come off the stage on my side over here on my side and give them one more round of applause everybody
A big round of applause. Terrific.